Hello, I'm Tal Glicks. I'm a motion graphics designer from Israel, but for the last few years I've been living in Barcelona. Today I'll make a tutorial on how I made this video. Yep. I just wanted to wish everybody. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a video greeting I made for friends of mine. I sent it in the start of the new year. The only thing was complicated a little bit in this, uh, in this video is the shot of the camera falling from the building. Well, I went to the rooftop and I made a few shots. The first one was like a general shot to show that I'm on the rooftop showing the, the scenery of Barcelona, camera looking at me to show that I'm really there, talking to the camera. Then the camera starts shaking like I lose control of it. And then the camera is falling down. So like I said, the most interesting part, I think, the, was how I made the footage of the camera falling down from the building. And I made this little video to show you how I made it. And that's it. So I took this uh, uh, this bag, this carton bag, which is a little bit more firm than the normal one. I put the camera inside of it. And then I had measured the size of the lens and just uh, painted it. And then cut a hole exactly the same size of the lens. So it would, it would be the only part that will get outside from the bag. Then I tape it a little bit so it would be stronger and the camera won't fall down and it would be more stable. Then I took a rope, just a regular rope, tie the handles of the bag and this part which the, the bag is pretty firm so it doesn't rock that much. It doesn't move too much when you take it down. See, went to the rooftop, that's Barcelona, me on the rooftop. I put the, the rope in this kind of a circular way, so when I drop it in once, very fast, it won't tangle around, it won't be messed up. And that's it, you see, that's how I made it. You lower the camera while the camera is working, and that's the way I had the footage for the falling down. Of course I had to, to do it a few times until I got it right and just to practice a little bit but that was the entire way I made it. So I was like the whole morning on the rooftop getting a sun tent, yeah, and having some fun with the camera. Okay, so that's the footage I want to wanted to show you. So I explained how I made all this footage so now what I did with the footage that I, I got from the camera actually I'll show, I show you what how the footage looks like and that's not it yeah so the raw footage from the camera that I took looks like that Yeah, that's it. So you see, it's even not close to falling down. It's just like you even hear the rope. It wasn't good. So you can see here on this layer, most of the stuff I did. The first thing that was the most important is the acceleration. So I accelerated the movie. We can have a look to see like, the differences. You 
you see, it's really much more faster. I did some time remapping. With this time remapping, you can see that the speed of the camera is accelerating until this point and from this point on. So all the time it gets, it's accelerating and accelerating, like an object which is falling from the rooftop uh, would really be. So the time remap was just around speeding things from the start till the end. Then I did more or less the same thing with blur directional blur which is like a motion blur so it starts with small amount of motion blur and as it gets to the ground the motion blur gets more and more and more then I did a scale and rotation a little bit uh, on the footage so it will be more like random and the falling will be more like reliable you can see without the scaling and rotation how it looks like. Yeah, not really well you think it's falling or it's in the air and with the scaling and rotation just gives it a little bit more life. So when I had the, all the footage and the shots ready, everything looked like that. I just wanted to wish everybody <laughs> And it wasn't that good. I wanted to enhance all the sounds and work a little bit more on the sound. So what I did, I took a few sounds that earlier I recorded on the rooftop, just put it one on top of the other to make like a sound sheet, something more uh, nicer and whole with the sounds. Okay, so I had some crashes, crash sounds. You see? Just to enhance when the camera starts shaking that's wind sound so like uh, when the camera is moving you'll hear more the wind that's it I wanted to enhance also my reaction to the camera falling looks like that Shit. No, fuck. No. Yeah, funny. And that's more crashes. And uh, this sound was to imitate the sound of the wind while the camera is falling down. The sound that you heard before wasn't really enough for what I wanted to do. So I recorded myself blowing wind from my mouth on the camera speaker. And then I imitated by that uh, the sound of the wind. And it sounds like that. Okay, so slowly, slowly with all these little layers of sound like in the end I had a really nice sound well nice I, with the low budget sound really good that's the sound of the camera shaking yeah, and you see here crash sound movement sound another crash when it gets to the ground above all these layers I put a background sound which is like a white noise just of the rooftop that I recorded nothing really special just birds and the white sound white noise sorry yeah and at the end after the camera falls I have this sound of bells just to be a little bit ironic 
Okay, so that's the sound and how I built the sound. Now, the next thing is to show you when the camera is just hitting the ground, you see there's these layers which imitate uh, parts of the camera breaking down and going inside the shot, inside the lens, in just in front of the lens of the camera. Once again, it's really easy. I did it with few layers of solids with blur on them. You can see I'm taking it down. Okay. The more further from the camera, like this one, has more blur and then a little bit less blur, a little bit less blur, a little bit less and it gets darker and a little bit get some color like the more it gets closer to the camera it gets darker the next stage was to make the typography typography also is really simple I just wrote it down and gave it a little bit of position with a wiggly selector and then I made like a rotation, uh, two keyframes, really really simple just to make the letters fall down you see little by little they're falling down I have you some more keyframes that I can show you it's just like to make the when the when the letters fall down to bounce it a little bit until it stops and then a little oscuration uh, layer the last thing that I made is just a little color correction to everything you see everything it was all the footage was a little bit more bluish and I made it more reddish and bluish <laughs> so that's how the color correction look looks on the building yeah. And that's it. Thank you very much. I'm Tal. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one on AE Tats Plus. Bye.